did you make for dinner tonight? So tonight I made uh, chicken and biscuits with mashed potatoes and gravy. Uh, if y'all want this recipe, if you're a native, go on the website and you can find it uh, right on the way there. Shows you everything, how to make it from scratch. It's actually pretty easy. This takes a little time consuming, but it's really good. Alrighty. You'll like it. You look so good, dude. Don't jump off those. What do you think, dude, bug? Huh? Nice. Oh, Has ice cream. That looks redonk. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear. Happy birthday to you. He gets served first. Look. That. Are you kidding me? Wait a minute, what are we looking at here? What is this? We are looking at a chocolate ice cream cake with uh, <laughs> cookies and cream peanut butter ice cream. Thank you, dude. Spray. Got me a sport. Dairy free, gluten free, sugar free, taste free. Careful, careful. Ooh, and kind of broken. It's like very good. It's not too sweet. Hmm. I love ice sliver. No, I don't. Not too sweet. I Better than that. I like it. And you went to work today. <laughs> Making the big box. Oh, yeah. Hey, you got me some? Yeah. I mean, probably big, trust me. Check. It's a it's it. I was very done. Mm hmm. Oh, so you think it's a small piece of there. <laughs> That's a decent size piece. Okay guys, it's crazy. Welcome back. Welcome back. So I'm going to show you how far I've gotten so far in my back hallway. You can see. Um, and what else I'm going to be working on today. So let me just catch you up to speed real quick and then tell you what the plan is moving forward for the rest of the living room. So um, today I have been working on, and you can kind of see maybe still, it's still wet, um, rolling the walls here with a second coat of the alabaster white paint. It is in semi-gloss because we have a lot of people and traffic everywhere and we're a farm. So um, we just have grossness all the time in and out of the house, just the way that it is. Um, so semi-gloss has become my new best friend. And um, yeah, you can see I even started rolling my ceiling um, with semi-gloss. And some of you are gonna be like, ah, what are you doing? <laughs> um, but I did a little bit reading up on it and I kind of like the light. You can see the reflective like of the light. I kind of like that and it looks very clean. And also guys, just being real here, here for fly season at the farm, semi-gloss is going to be way, way, way nicer to be able to scrub off our ceiling, wipe it off when it is fly season. So I'm just taking my time as I'm redoing the trim and putting the second coat on the walls. I'm just going ahead and rolling the ceiling as I go too. So that is all pretty much done now. The other thing that I'm going to be doing today is a second coat of black paint. It is Tricorn Black, uh, Sherwin Williams Tricorn Black, also in a semi-gloss. Um, and I'll spin you around and show you what it's going to look like, Lord willing, when that second coat gets on. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing there. Working on this wall back here, rolling that out, and then I'm just gonna see how far I get today. This is a big living room. Um, I don't know, it will probably take me a few days to work my way through this whole ceiling, but a little at a time, a little at a time. And my big motivation is guys, if you are doing anything in your house, decluttering, cleaning, painting, washing dishes, exercising, whatever you're doing, 
reward yourself a little bit. This is what I do anyway. This is what I found really helps me and motivates me is that I don't get to spend a lot of time on my cell phone just because I'm a busy mom. So my reward is that when I'm doing big projects like this or just want to motivate myself to get on the treadmill and go for a walk for a half an hour or an hour, I turn on something that I want to watch on my phone and that's my special reward. Maybe it's Bible, listening to my audio Bible, listen to a sermon, or watching a YouTube channel that I like, um, anything that motivates you, use your phone as a tool to motivate yourself. So anyway, without further ado, I'm going to jump back into it. I'm going to paint, paint, paint. I got the ceiling rolled straight all the way, kind of sort of even with the hallway. I'll worry about the rest of the ceiling in the room at a later time. I'm kind of worn out on all of the stretching <laughs> exercises. So I'm gonna change gears here. I'm gonna go back to my black paint and I'm gonna be doing the second coat on all of the hallway. <music> not getting any better guys I was trying to make it better it's not any better anyway look at that it's the end of the day <laughs> I'm done I'm calling it it's dinner time and I've been painting this hallway all afternoon and I'm really happy with it it's turning out really really nice um, and I am calling it um, I got this side done over here, this whole back wall here is double coated now and it looks really, really nice. Um, we're gonna have another hat rack that I did paint a second coat on that. It's exactly the same as this one, hat slash coat rack. Um, we can show you how we made them. Uh, we, as in James, made them. They're really nice, easy, cheap DIY projects, these hat racks slash coat racks. So I got a second coat on that one too. And then um, tomorrow, I'm gonna pick up where I left off. I'm gonna be painting these two little side pieces as well as that door inside and outside needs a second coat of black paint on it. And then we'll just see how far I get tomorrow. I still have two walls that need to be rolled, um, the white paint, and then I don't know how much ceiling I will get done. So the project continues, but I'm really, really happy with it. I'm going to get in the tub. I am done, done, done. I have been painting and I didn't film today's painting because it's white on white and it was really boring it wouldn't have looked like anything on camera but I just want to show you what we got done so for those of you on Instagram you have already seen our hat rack it's missing a couple hats right now and James did the letters um, custom all by himself he used a template and cut them all out and then he burnt them so it looks really cool and then I don't know if it's picking up on here right now but there's like little um, Texas stars those little squares are Texas stars up there so it looks really really cute so anyway um, that got done today I'm okay so you can see behind me here this got done as well my runner came in from Amazon and I'm really happy with it it's the reverse colors of my rug so my rug in my living room is the tan it's like an off-white cream white 
with um, the black and then this runner because it's just a super high traffic area I wanted to try to catch some dirt so we don't just have dirt constantly there I could just run the vacuum on it and hopefully that'll work out good if not I can move it to my hallway so it's totally fine but it's a 20 I think it's 21 foot or 22 foot runner so it's really really long and it goes all the way up underneath of my treadmill which will Lord willing be moving out to the garage so anyway I'm really happy with this um, it's really pretty and it's dark so should hold up well to the traffic I'm gonna spin you around and show you the rest I even went into my laundry room and um, touched up a little bit in there as well but I'm loving the room I'm absolutely loving the room it's not perfectly clean right this second but um, I, I'm super super loving it guys so you're just seeing like glimpses of it here um, the dresser here that we use um, for storage and things um, that has to finish getting sanded down and it's just so nice when you have those big velvety curtains and you can close them up at night it's very private and quiet as well as um, I did those curtains in my whole house now for all the bedrooms and all the rooms have the shears and those curtains and those curtain rods I'm really really loving them they're really nice and it is really nice for insulation to have those heavy um, two-sided drapes so that way it'll keep the cool in in the summertime and it keeps um, the warmth in in the winter time so I'm really loving that whole thing so anyway guys that's where we're at here um, I can back up and show you the hat rack again and I think we might even end up adding the same down here for a coat rack but we have some more things that we're doing in this room so stay tuned as we finish it all up put it all together um, yep yeah, so that's it Watch me again. <laughs> 